Hi everyone, welcome to this basic tutorial on Empire State Immersive Experiences, or EASY. EASY is a database of panoramic photos and other digital objects that can be linked together to show off interactive tours involving areas of significance to New York State and New York State citizens. Uh, you see here we have Delaware Park, with the casino, and the lake, this is what we mean by a panoramic photo, a 360 degree image of a place that we can add different content onto. I'm going to show you now a really basic how to log in and how to access uh, some of the features we have and also how to add your own content. You'll see on our main page, we have a login up here if you already have an account, as well as a box for the username and password down here, or you could create a new account if you don't have one. If you create a new account, you'll come to this form. You'll be asked for your email address, give you the username, your name, uh, what institution that you belong to, uh, whether it's a Winnie Lurk institution or one of our partners. You can add a picture or you can add a um, time zone so everything will be stamped in your local time. Once you hit create new account, uh, your account will be created, however, you will not be able to log into it for about 12 to 24 hours as the system processes. Uh, you will receive an email with a password for you when it has been processed, and then you can log in and change right from there. I've got a test account set up to show you what would happen once you get in. So I'm going to put that in here. I'm going to log in. And it will bring you to this landing page will tell you how long you've been a member, what institution you're from, and a little bit of the information that you provided earlier. You'll also notice up in the top right here, you've got two new menus. You have content and create. Now content lets you see the different content. You can see content that you have uploaded. You can see content that everyone has uploaded, or you can work with panoramas that you haven't published yet. And then you can go to the Create menu, which will allow you to create a new panorama, create a new panorama tour, which is a series of panoramas linked together, or create any other digital object, a PDF, a document, a sound file, movie, anything like that. We'll start with panorama. Right. So when you click panorama, this is our basic image and metadata page. The first thing you'll need to do is give it a title. And this should be something unique that lets you know what it is as well as the viewer know what it is. For example, in the photo that we had on the main page, Delaware Park, Terrace, Hoyt Lake, things like that that will let people know what the image is of. And you want to select a file here, and that'll just pop up your regular window here on my desktop. I have some 360 degree images. You could choose one of those to upload and it will appear up here. Next, give us a description of what the content is. You don't need to use complete sentences, but make sure that somebody who reads just the description can be aware of what is in the image. Um, and that would be the totality of the image, the whole 360 degree range of content captured. If there's buildings on both sides, lakes, you'll want to put those uh, brief descriptions of what is in the image. Next, we have a street address. This will allow you to add a geotagged location. Um, and as you see, if you start typing, it will add a place. This was a, a place I took photos at earlier. And if you could search the maps, you'll find different places. There's none here. So let's try Tonawanda, New York. All right. These are locations here. You may not see the exact location that you're typing in, but you're going to want it pretty close, the nearest street address related to the location uh, that you're taking it up. If it's a major landmark, it may be listed in there, but do your best to get roughly the location that you can. Down here, this is the creator. Uh, this would be whoever created it. If you are uploading your own images, that would be your name. Uh, we ask that you, for consistency, put it in last name, comma, first name. Example, Doe Jane. Uh, and that would be the name of the person who created the panorama. 
Next is the date that it was created. Once you click into this, it will pop up this menu here, and then you can select a date that it was created. You need to click this box to agree to the terms of service, and when you hit save, you'll have uploaded your first panorama. There's some other things that you can add into here in the create panorama or create digital object that adds another layer of metadata in our curator function. As you'll see up at the top here, there's now places for subject terms, a collection, your preview. You'll notice this here is exactly the same as the previous contributor level, um, except it allows you to select a different type of movie or a different type of media. These are all the various ones that we have here. You'll notice there's more categories for this. This will actually pull down the open street and add some latitude, longitude, and different categories. This is all done automatically by open street using this dropdown. The creator is just the same as the uh, previous one. Institutional owner, um, if you want to do it, this is an item of a particular group's collection. You would put that in there. Date it was made. And you move on to the next step which would be our subject terms. Now these let you populate your own terms here. This pulls from Wikidata. This one pulls from the uh, architecture and art thesaurus, I believe. Um, and then you can also add Library of Congress subject headings, all sorts of different things in here. Uh, let's see, Delaware Park. All right, Delaware Park is in here. So we could put this in there, and this gives you the URL of where to find the entry for this on Wikidata. Subject term, we can do parks. See, there's all sorts of, I think community parks would be the most important there. If you want to add additional terms, you can put them in here. As well as if there's a particular person um, or an agent that you have in here and their role, you can enter that. Here's our entry for Library of Congress subheadings. You can fill those in, and then when you move on to the next step, you get to collections, which uh, would be a future established when we want to put group items together in specific categories. If you have a collection of Delaware Park, if you have a collection relevant to a particular institution, anything like that, you would enter that in here, and then you can create that collection there. When you hit finish description, it would show you a preview of the item, and once you accept it, your item will be published. We'll see some content in here. I'm actually going to leave this site as we're just doing a test. So for example, we have this. And this is what you will see after you're taken to these, or after you click the submit button. We have our panorama here. You can zoom in and out. You can move about, up. You can move down. You can see over here we have the geotag location, roughly where it is, the date it was created, the person who created it, and then this is our short description. And that's about all you need to add content. I hope this was informative for you. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to get in contact with us. Our contact information is available through EASY. Um, and I hope to see many submissions soon. Take care, everyone. Be well.